Uh, hello everyone, uh, welcome to iQuanta. Uh, my name is Ditin. I'm sure all of you are doing great. Uh, okay, this is the sixth video on pair synthesis. Uh, in this video, we'll be discussing some of the very good application of pair synthesis change, right? So let's start the session. Uh, guys, first thing, uh, we can also call these, you know, application under the concept of product form. Uh, product form as the name suggests as well that, you know, uh, there will be some relation in the form, you know, in which some products will be given. Product means like 2 into 3 is 6, such kind of products, right? And then we have to solve the question based on percentage changes. Okay, so I have classified these application in three forms. One is mensuration based, second is price and consumption, and the third one is the other cases. So, you know, mensuration based, as we all know, the mensuration part of the geometry, right? Guys, in mensuration, there are a lot of formulas, right? For example, the formulas of the areas, volumes, uh, surface areas as well, right? So, in these formula, wherever, you know, there can be a product form uh, in those, you know, cases, these kind of questions can occur. Very soon, you know, we'll be discussing some of the applications as well. Similarly, price and consumption, there is, you know, a formula of price and consumption as well, which I'm going to tell you very soon. And the third one, it could be any cases where, you know, there is an equation in which there is some product, for example, you know, the formula of distance is equal to speed to time, or maybe any other thing, all right? So let's first start with the mensuration base, and then we'll be doing the remaining ones. Okay, guys, so in mensuration, I have taken a very simple, you know, uh, formula of mensuration, that is area of the rectangle. Uh, let's see the question first. The question says, length of the rectangle increases by 20%, breadth decreases by 30%, then we have to find the percentage change in the area of the rectangle. All right, very simple guys. Uh, okay, let me tell you the areas formula of rectangle. That's also very simple. Area of a rectangle is length into breadth. We all just know that, right? Okay, now the question says that uh, the length increases by 20% and breadth decreases by 30% find the percentage change of the area of the rectangle. Okay, let me quickly write this. Yes, you know, a lot of people try this question in different manner, right? So, uh, it, what, what I'll suggest you that you can assume these values, all right? Let us assume that length as 10, breadth as 10, and area should be 100. Uh, guys, in general, you know, I'm sure you know in geometry, uh, in rectangle, length is always greater than breadth, right? But this is just an assumption. Don't worry about this, right? Uh, you can assume anything else as well, but let it be like this for now. Uh, let length is strength, breadth is strength, and area is 100. Now, they're saying that length increases by 20%. So, if length increases by 20%, initially the length is 10. 20% of 10 is how much? We can say 20% of 10 has to be, you know, 2 so that means it should increase by we can say 2 that means a new length must be 12 all right now they are saying that breadth decreases by 30 percent so what is 30 percent of 10 we can say 30 percent of 10 is basically you know 3 all right now we can say breadth should decrease by 3 that means a new breadth should be 7 all right so what should be the new area guys the new length is 12 the new breadth is 7 so area has to be you know length into breadth that means 12 into 7 which we can further say as 84 all right so guys, the old area is 100 and the new area we can say is 84. So we just have to find out the percentage change in the area now, right? So you can see that uh, the simple formula of percentage change, you can say that change is what percentage of initial value, right? One thing is sure there is a decrement, right? Decrement is of 16 and decrement is done with respect to 100. Initial, you know, area is 100. So guys, 16 is what percentage of 100? 16 percent is very simple, right? I don't think we need to calculate this. So we can say in this question, the area, you know, changes by 16% or we can say area decreases by 16%, right? Very simple question just to start these kind of applications, right? Okay, second question of this, if, if you know, th that says that if breadth of rectangle decreases by 20% and area decreases by 12%, then find the percentage change in the length of the rectangle, all right? Uh, guys, again, we'll write the same formula that area is you know, length into breadth, simple. Okay, let us assume again in the beginning that length is 10 and the breadth is 10. And let's say, and, and in this way, the area must be 100, very obvious. All right, now guys, in this case, the breadth is decreasing by 20 percentage. Because of this, area decreasing by 12 percentage, and we are not given, in fact, we have to find the percentage change in the length of this rectangle. All right, first, breadth decreases by 20 percentage, so, what is 20 percent is of 10 uh, very obvious it is 2 right that means new breadth must be 8 because you know breadth is decreasing obviously and they are saying that area also decreases by 12 percent so new area must be what see guys uh 
first area is 100 12 percent decreasing 12 percent of 100 we can say is 12 right so now uh, we can say what the new area must be 100 minus 12 which you can say is 88 right so we need to find out what is the change in the length right okay uh, we do not know the new length but guys the formula will always be the same you know the formula what that area is length into breadth so that formula always going to be same right so we can say what the new area is 88 the new length we do not know let's call this l dash the new breadth is 8 so l dash should be what we can say this has to be 88 upon 8 right that means it must be 11 that means the new length is 11 uh, the previous length was 10 so we just need to find the percent the change in length which is very simple now guys the original length is 10 new length is 11 so the change is how much we can say the length is increasing by one right now we need to find the percentage increase in length all right so percentage increase is what we can say increases what percentage of initial value increment is one initial value is 10 so that's very simple you know that we can say is 10 percent is that means the length is increasing by 10 percent is and that should be you know the final answer of this question Okay, right, so I have taken two, you know, application of uh, mensuration based uh, percentage change question, but there can be, you know, more type of them. But in the end, you know, we just have to remember the formula. If you remember the formula of mensuration, that was a simple one, right? Uh, they may ask some difficult as well, difficult formulas as well, but you just need to remember the formulas, whether the formula is of area or of volume in case of 3D or any other, you know, formula of mensuration. If you remember the formula, you will be able to solve these questions very easily, right? Okay, now coming to the third application, which is based on price and consumption, all right? So first, we should know that formula of price and consumption. So let me tell you that formula here is, is a formula which uh, relates price, consumption, and total expenditure, all right? So uh, I just want to tell you, uh, take you, you know, I would just want to tell you that formula with the help of an example, all right? Let's say, guys, uh, you know, the price of any article we can say is rupees 20, per article all right per article and let's say a consumption of that article let's say you know six articles right we are going to consume or buy six articles of first type right now what will be the total expenditure the total expenditure obviously is going to be we can say what uh, see on one article we'll spend 20 rupees so in six articles obviously we'll spend 120 rupees so we can make a simple formula out of this that expenditure is equal to what it's simply price into the consumption very simple is that right okay so this is a very simple formula which relates expenditure price and consumption right and we'll be using this formula to solve the question based on price and consumption okay guys let's take this question right the question says uh, that if the price of an article decreases by 20 percentage then by what percent should we increase the consumption so that the expenditure remains the same all right so as I tell you that we'll just use that formula of expenditure, price and, you know, consumption, that expenditure is equal to price into consumption, all right. Now, uh, okay, just like previous two questions, we'll assume the values of price, consumption, and expenditure. Okay, let's say again, guys, the price is 10 and consumption is also 10. So in this way, the expenditure has to be, you know, 100, just an assumption, right? Okay, now what is happening in this problem? They are saying that, the price should decrease, price decreases by 20%, this, right? So what should be the new price? Okay, guys, 10 decreases by 20%, 20% of 10 is obviously 2. That means the price, new price becomes 8, we can say that, all right? And then they are saying that then why, then why, uh, by what percent should we increase the consumption so that expenditure remains the constant or same. So expenditure have, you know, having no change, that means the new expenditure is also 100, okay? And we have to deal with the change in the consumption part, right? I guess you can still use the same formula that expenditure is equal to price into the consumption. Okay, let us say the new consumption is C dash, all right? Now we can find the value of C dash with the help of this. We can say what that C dash is equal to, you know, 100 upon 8, all right? And 100 upon 8 is how much? We can say 100 upon 8 is, uh, if you simplify, this is, you know, 1 and then, 2 and then 12.5 all right so the new consumption is coming 12.5 guys the previous consumption or the original consumption was 10 right let's write the original consumption as c and the new one as c dash original consumption is 10 the new consumption is 12.5 so we just need to find out the percentage change in the consumption which should be how much so you guys the change in the consumption or increase in consumption is 2.5 we have to find the percentage increase right 
So what should be the percentage increase? We can say increase in consumption, which is 2.5. Original consumption is 10. So we just need to find that 2.5 is what percentage of 10, right? Very simple. Uh, it must be, you know, 25 percentage. Pretty simple is this. So we can say, yes, the percentage change in consumption is that 25 percent increase in this problem. Is it can be more, you know, such type of question, which I would suggest you to, you know, practice at home, right? Now, uh, trying one more problem, which is, you can say other cases. Remember, I told you there can be three types. The third one is the other cases. And now we are going to discuss the third one, which is, you know, the other cases. Uh, guys, I've taken a wonderful question on this. Uh, the question says that if x is equal to p square minus q into r, and p is increased by 20%, q is increased by 116%, and r is being decreased by 33.33 percentage, then we need to find the percentage change in the value of x. All right. So guys, you know, um, the relation this time is what? That x is equals to p square minus qr. All right, uh, you know, it's difficult to think in such kind of questions, such kind of equations. So I've seen most of the students, you know, they do not try much or maybe they try something. But in the end, they, they say that the answer is cannot be determined, you know, because it looks like this, that we will not be able to find a percentage change in the value of x, right? But, but guys, if I say this question can be solved, right? Okay, um, this question can be solved or you can say that we can't get an answer of this question. But uh, we are not, we cannot get the answer of such questions always. This is actually a special case. Let me tell you what will happen, right? Okay, so guys, here, x, you can say, is the combination of two terms. One is p square and second is qr, right? So we'll be dealing these two terms, you know, individually one by one. Let me show you how. Uh, first, we'll be dealing only with p square, all right? And then we'll be dealing with only with q into r, okay? So first, let's deal with... Uh, Let's say p square, all right? So guys, let us assume that um, p is square, okay? You can, we can just assume in the beginning that let p is something, let p is some value, all right? Let p is uh, 10, all right? Let the value of p is 10 in the beginning. Okay, now they are saying what? That p is increasing by 20%. So we need to find out that p is square will increase by how many percentage, right? Okay, let p is 10. So what should be p square? Obviously, p square should be 100. Very obvious is this, right? Okay, now guys, um, if p is increasing by 20%, so the new value of p must be, we can say, you know, 12. Obviously, p is increasing by 20%. 20% of, you know, 10 is 2. So we can say uh, the value of p, we can also call it p dash has become now 12, right? Since it is increasing by 20%, 2, so it becomes 12 now. What will be the new value of p square, or you can also call it p dash square, right? So, guys, the new value of p square or p dash square, we can say is what? Since p is 12 now, right, it should be 12 square, and we can say this should be 144, right? So, let's just see that, that what is the percentage change in the value of p square only, all right? We'll be checking only the percentage change in p square. So, guys, initially, p square, or whatever you call it, right, that was 100, and now the new value of p square or p dash square has become 144. So what is the change here? Okay, so 100 is increased to 144. The change in the amount is 44. That means the change in percentage is also, you know, 44. Very obvious is, is this. So we can say that p square is increasing by 44 percentage in this particular problem. Okay, now the second thing, I told you that we'll be working on both the terms one by one, right? So we discussed p square. Now let's discuss about q into r, all right? So for that, we'll, you know, again, do the same thing. We'll assume Q and R. Let's say, okay, in fact, we can assume the same, right? 10 and 10, it doesn't bother. We can take another number as well. Then also you will find the same result. So I'm just taking the easy values. Let's say Q and R both are 10, right? So what should be the value of Q and R? Q into R, right? So we can say this is 10 into 10. That makes us 100, okay? Now they are saying that Q is increasing by 116 percentage, right? So what should be the new value of Q? Okay, guys, in this case, you know, if we increase 10 by 116 percentage, yes, there will be some decimal term. So we can do one thing, we can change the assumption. It's always change the assumption only when the calculation gets difficult, right? Otherwise, you can take the simple assumptions always, okay? So Q, I'm going to take as, uh, you know, 100 here, all right? I'm just going to take as uh, Q as 100. So what should be the new 
value of q or you can call it q dash right since it is increasing by how many percentage it's increasing by 116 percentage so 116 percentage of 100 is also 116 right so we can say the new value of q or q dash must be 216 it's like this we can you know treat now they are saying that r is decreasing by 33.33 percentage 33.33 we can say is 1 by 3 so guys, it will be better if we assume the value of r as a multiple of 3, right? We can take it 30, we can take it 300, in fact, we can take it just 3, that will also be fine, you know? Only the point is that calculation should be easy. So I'm just going to take it 3, let's say, okay? Let's say r is 3 in the beginning. Now the value of r is decreasing by 33.33 percentage. What is 33.33 percentage of uh, 3? Obviously this is 1, so this should decrease by 1, that means the new value of r or r dash must be 2, right? Because 33.33 percentage of 3 is 1. Decreasing by 1, that means its new value has to be r. Okay, now let's, you know, check about the value of q into r, which is the original question, right? So, guys, uh, q into r in the beginning, that was 100 into 3, that we can say as 300, all right? The value of uh, q dash into, you know, r dash. So, Q dash is 216, all right, and R dash, new value of R or R dash is 2. That gives us how much? 432, all right. So, guys, originally the value of Q into R is 300. Now, this value is 432. Let's see the percentage change in this case, right? Let's just see the percentage change. So, the change, the amount changes how much? 132, increasing by 132. So, what should be the percentage change, right? So, guys, the percentage change, let me write here, uh, percentage increase here, right? So, increment is happening 132, right, out of the original value of Q into R is 300. So, we can say the change increment is 132 out of 300. What should be that percentage, right? So, to find the percentage this time, we can multiply by 100, all right? So, if you multiply this by 100, uh, you know, 0, 0 from denominator must get cancelled. Let me write this, 132 upon 300 into 100, all right? So, we can say 132 by 3 which should be how much, which guys, if you simplify, it will be 44 percentage. So the point here is that the value of Q into R is also increasing by 44 percentage. See guys, the value of P squared was also increasing by 44 percentage and the value of Q into R is also increasing by 44 percentage. That is the only reason, you know, we are able to solve this question, okay? See, X uh, is what? X is, we know, P squared into Q into P squared minus Q into R, right? Now, after changing the value of p, right, uh, we got to understand that p squared is increasing by 44 percentage, right? And after changing the values of q and r, we again got to know that the value of q into r is also increasing by 44 percentage. So, what will happen with the value of x, guys? Uh, okay, if all the terms, right, uh, terms means which are adding and subtracting, if all the terms are increasing by the same percentage, then the value of x will also increase by the same percentage, all right? So guys, this is the only condition when we can solve such kind of question in which there is, you know, the sign of plus minus in between a few terms, right? If all the terms are changing by the same percentage, then only we can say that x is also changing with the same percentage. If they are not changing with the same percentage, then we, can, we cannot find the percentage change in x unless we do not know the original values of p, q, and r, right? If you know the p values of p, q, and r, then there is no, you know, uh, question. We can solve the question anyhow, right? But if we do not know the values of p, q, and r, then these, you know, all the terms should change by the same percentage. Only then we can find the percentage change in x. Otherwise, we cannot. All right. So in this question, luckily, p is p square and q into r, they both are increasing by 44 percentage. That is why, that is why the value of x will also increase by 44 percentage. The question is find the percentage change. Uh, so we can say it is 44 percentage, right? So this is how we can solve this wonderful question as well. So guys, this is all about, you know, the session in which we discuss some very good application of, you know, percentage change based on the product form. So this is all about the percentages. Now, from the next video, we are going to start the new topic, which is called profit and loss. Till then, guys, thank you so much. Keep watching the series and keep practicing. Bye-bye. Take care.